Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jill with Simply Made Unique by Jill. And today we're gonna to be taking these cute little yogurt jars and upcycling them instead of recycling them. So this is Oi by YoPlay yogurt. It comes in a cute little glass jar. Once you eat the yummy yogurt, don't throw away your jar. Make sure you pop off that lid and I'm gonna show you how to recycle them into the cutest little vintage jars with lids that you ever did see. So they're great for little gifts or just to have around the house to put little things in or just as a decorative piece. So I'm gonna show you all about that. I'm gonna go through all the products that I use. I'm sure there's other ways of doing this to get the exact same look, but I'm gonna show you each product that I use and exactly how I do it. So make sure if you enjoy this video, you hit the little bell above to get future notifications as well as subscribe so you see all my videos and all my crafts and all my reels as they come up in real time. Let's hop on to over to making these cute little jars and I'll show you the final result at the end. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great day. All right, here we go. The first step is to take off the label, clean our jars and add an adhesion primer. This means a primer that's gonna help the paint stick to a slippery surface like glass. I'm using one by Dixie Bell Paint Company. It's meant for furniture and it's called Slick Stick, but you can get one in the craft store. You just want something that's meant for adhesion. Once I give it two solid coats, I'm gonna take a thousand grit sandpaper. You're gonna find this in your auto parts because it's really meant for cars. And you're gonna just sand down that finish a little bit to take out any gritty feel and to smooth down some of the lines from your brush before we move on to step two. In step two, we're gonna move on to the decoupaging because I'm decoupaging one of my jars to match the other ones. I'm taking just a napkin I bought at the dollar store. You can use any kind of napkin, whether it's a two ply or three ply, you wanna just get that first ply. I'm using Slat and Clear Coat from Dixie Bell again because I have it for furniture, but you can use Mod Podge or any other clear coat that you would use for decoupaging or decoupage medium. I'm gonna coat that on really, really well. And we're just gonna stick that napkin down and gently tap it to put it on making sure that we don't rip it as we go along. We're just gonna work over the whole napkin. We can add some more on there and on top as well, just to smooth it out. I don't mind that it has some wrinkles because we're gonna be antiquing it anyway. So we just wanna make sure that it's down really, really well. And we'll start trimming away some of this excess as we get to the bottom and just smoothing out the bottom. And then we're gonna let that dry and move on to paint, which is step three. I'm using a chalk-based mineral paint by Dixie Belle as well here, but any craft paint will work. And this one's called Tea Rose, so I'm painting one in this pink Tea Rose color, and the other one I'm gonna paint in this lavender color just to match that napkin. But again, we're gonna be antiquing these on top after we're done painting two coats and leaving them to dry. Step four, we're gonna be adding some labels. This is part of a transfer set by IOD, Iron Orchid Designs. And it's just like little labels that you transfer on by rubbing them. You can use decoupage, you can make your own labels, any sticker type label would work here too. And you just want something to look really cute. I'm making these kind of like vintage looking. So these are just little vintage, like old time product kind of things. And I just thought they were really cute with this napkin. So we're just gonna get them on before we move on to the next step. And now we're gonna move on to Pentart Fine Line Crackle. This step I'm actually gonna call the next two steps because there's component one and component two. So first we're gonna take component one and we are gonna coat everything and let it dry. So it looks kind of white, but it dries clear and a little bit sticky. We're gonna give it a few hours to dry completely. It's gonna feel a little tacky, but that's okay. That's exactly what we wanted to do. And that's all we do with this coat is just we coat it on and we leave it to dry. Then we're gonna move on to the next step, which is component two. And this one, you're gonna take fine line crackle varnish component two, and we're gonna just do the same thing. We're gonna coat the whole thing, and we're gonna to start to let it dry. And we're actually gonna accelerate it in the next step with a heat gun. So what it does is, it's, is it cracks into a real fine crackle, and I found that using a heat gun, this is just a little one, craft one I bought on Amazon, will accelerate that crackle finish and give you more exaggerated crackles. You're not gonna see much happening here because it happens as the glass starts to cool down and the cracks will appear. So it's gonna be kind of hard to see on camera, but I will give you a closer look in a second. 
I did go over it one more time just to make sure that it cracked enough for me. And if you look really close, you can see little fine crackles in the label and in the paint. But we're gonna accelerate that next with some wax. Now, Pen Art has their own antiquing paste. I'm using Dixie Belle's Best Dang Wax. It's a water-based wax and just a brush to put it on. I found through trial and error that it did work really well. I'm gonna brush it on. It's gonna look kind of messy here, but we're gonna take a cloth in a second and wipe it back and you'll see how gorgeous this finish is. So we get the whole thing covered and then we take our rag and we start wiping away the excess and just leaving it in those fine line crackles. You can see how this gives it a perfect antiqued old porcelain look. And we're gonna continue on to our other two jars as well, right over the napkin and the purple jar. So just to give it that antiquing look, you could see there's none here, there's some here, and back to where there's none. It just gives it that little bit of an old world look. The last thing I did to these jars is on Amazon, I ordered some lids. You can just look up the OI lids for jars on Amazon and you'll find um, different ones. And I think they're super adorable and they're just a cute little decorative thing. You can give them as gifts or let me know if you would try this. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. See you again soon.